Um, hello, skeptical heretic and anybody else interested in this. I'm making this video as a reply to you because you've talked about this from the meta point of the conversation. Um, and I, I want to point out a couple things both about this conversation and, and what it sort of shows. And also these issue, uh, these issues of flagging and losing access to videos and whatnot. I mean, it's funny when you think about flagging as something that would take down the part that is the evidence that shows that the side of the argument that has been removed was the lesser side of the argument. Now it can't be proved because it got censored, thanks. The legend lives on. But whatever. Um, but the first thing I want to talk about is let's just face something really quick. You, Hannibal, both very smart. I thought very well researched, uh, you know, at times, um, and uh, you both are part of a, a sort of a traditional hobby or an arc or a part of this online debate hobby. Once it catches hold, it really tends to to be this this formula of find an ignorant person that needs to dis be disabused of some ignorant idea. Right, YouTube atheism, you find, you know, just find a Christian that happens to think, hey, this and that, you, it's some young earth creationist that you might not even have thought was really out there admitting it anymore. And you might know some that don't talk because they know people get all uptight, but then you find them on the internet where they come because from their point of view, they're disabusing us. And it goes around and is interesting. Now, uh, I happen to agree with the points you make, by and large, and with Hannibal, and disagree on any number of, you know, positions overall. But in terms of the kinds of tools and how you think the argument uh, should go, and, you know, things that aren't just a matter of personal style and those kinds of variation, I happen to have a, a tendency of disagreement, for example, on the so-called sides that you're on. But I have not really, I used to, you know, decades ago now, because I'm 43 and I got online in the mid 80s when it was just modems and bulletin boards and we did all this kind of debate by text and as the internet came on and and I've seen this pattern prior to YouTube now I don't know your experiences in that but um, if you have a lot of experience back to Usenet or Fidonet before even using the internet then you'll know what I'm talking about but even if not I know you have enough experience with how it goes here that you can imagine this is a regenerative process that has a lot of cyclical appearance in it but there is something changing there are tools and, and, and ways of approaching this stuff so I just think that that's the way that it is and I actually see why that's energy I mean why do you think you know oxygen and hydrogen will cause a fire you know that's terrible well unless you want to burn them for energy if you, if you get my drift so this tension and, and I sort of feel like great you people like animal they're talking to fringe elements me I'm kind of past dealing with that particular thing and so specifically I'm glad somebody else is willing to do that to me that's too obvious of an error I don't have time for it I prefer to go to people that I think are smart and point out some of their errors and that's more subtle and more difficult um, but I want somebody to take care of those people. I don't want those people to go unmolested. Mass looks. I don't want them to go unmolested. So uh, I'm glad that people are taking care of that. But you can't, like like you were saying about Diana, uh, you can't just take this intellectual high road exactly either. Um, or like Hannibal. I love, I've been defending, I don't know if you're familiar with, with any of my videos on this subject or otherwise really but uh, I have been defending Hannibal I like Hannibal I like your your channel as I had said but uh, you know he went a little bit WWE he exposed himself to some of those sorts of things you know and when Gary's going oh well, what if his professors were to see that that he doesn't have but what if his professors were to see that well it wouldn't be any of the positions that he presented obviously that would be a problem it might be that WWE stuff could be embarrassing in front of another person um, but uh, be that as it may, um, we just, 
we can't pretend that we're not choosing to have these kinds of adversaries. I mean, race realists are choosing that, um, right? And so on. Now, Hannibal has taken a little bit of that in the antinatalist thing and come into the antinatalist conversation here when there's been certain features that have sort of come into the relief. And this is an interesting thing to me because I've been talking as this developed before they were calling it antinatalism. I, I consider myself one of the people that helped them find and discover that term um, by being one of the first uh, here to just adopt it once I saw that they were going to realize that that is, and yet there's a difference between theirs. I'm glad they've also invented the new term as well. So, but um, I've seen this as it develops. And, uh, and as things come into light from shining light. And in my way, which is I don't avoid conflict, but I definitely don't go out, I don't go out and try to find a useful idiot who uh, I can, I can uh, use as a model of how to disabuse people of some uh, ignorance I think is out there or is out there. So, uh, but again, I'm not fa faulting. I think maybe it's it's uh it's for it's it's a necessary stage i just think uh, you mean fighting these people like race realists and whatnot verbally and intellectually um because it's a necessary stage but it's inevitable that somebody of much intellectual capacity will burn out on that and then what do you do now that's where i'm getting to something that involves me because this the video that Hannibal replied to of Gary's that started this whole kerfluffle as we know it now that you point out should be between them the video Hannibal replied to was Gary's reply to Hannibal which was a reply to a video I made asking Hannibal a question so there is an original question. Now, I made that unsolicited. It was not part of another conversation with Hannibal. It's a part of my old theory that the Cro-Magnon were genocidal, killed off the Neanderthals. That's true, and we know that the chimps, the common chimps, their ancestors are so warlike and genocidal in certain cases, you know, warlike certainly, arguably, then that means six million years of that kind of behavior. So that's a lot of genocidal tendencies in apes to overcome. Animal disagrees, says no, you can tell from the fangs, they're getting, we're getting less aggressive. Something has spiked aggression in the 20th century, for example, or the last, you know, 10 centuries. But that's not, evolutionarily, that's not the dominant feature. So there's a spike. Gary came in, laterally, and chimed in. So to Gary's credit, he chimed in. He chimed in, not in a useful idiot. Now, he still acts like he has to treat us like idiots, but he actually chooses an argument that's subtle, which is ironic. Okay, this irony explains something about Gary, and especially for people that are like, why do I keep watching Gary's videos? Why do I watch him interact with people? Why do I interact with him? People don't understand that. This is a little clue for them. On the other hand, he comes in laterally, like a illegal tackle, when uh, in between plays or something and being insulting to Hannibal and, and myself though I hardly notice uh, so that's the video that Hannibal replies to so this is the conversation the aggression of man and Gary's real interest is obvious from that point if man's uh, getting less aggressive then antinatalism might be premature okay and then Gary also happens to believe that humans are obviously getting less aggressive, but somehow that doesn't matter, because whatever. So he's prone to this. Right. So now, this interchange when, only when Hannibal, fourth video now, comes along, WW Wrestling style, Smackdown threats, get your video out of town, Bob, sundown, mister. Then everybody gets interested. So what does that tell you? And even you, you're going, well, those two should work it out between themselves. Well, no, both of those guys should get back on the topic I raised, because that's the only interesting topic in this whole exchange. So I'm making a tool, and this is going to be the first one where I'm mapping out this conversation. It's going to be a very interesting looking map with people even like, you know, 
a numinist coming in. I, I find it very interesting uh, walking and watching these uh, these kinds of things. So, and your uh, part participation is always interesting, and especially since you chose to do what I call a meta uh, topic um, a conversation about the conversation. So, cheers. <laughs>